Hello everybody, welcome to lecture 8 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. We are still in chapter 3, Freedom of Speech. The topics to be covered include posting, sealing and leaking sensitive materials and anonymity. There are some issues here. Do search engine providers have a social or ethical obligation to provide complete search results to all queries or do they have a social or ethical obligation to omit very offensive sites from search results people should consider potential risks of posting materials they should consider unintended readers or users and should consider ways to prevent access by unintended users. Regarding leaks, there are three critical points. First, type of material. Second, value to society. And third, risks to society and individuals. The web is a convenient and powerful tool uh, for whistleblowers, some leaks serve valuable social purposes. We should remember that leaking begins with a strong ethical case against it. Leaked documents are often obtained by hacking into someone else's computer or by an insider who violates a confidentiality agreement. Freedom of speech and press do not legitimate stealing files and publishing them. This does not mean that leaking is always wrong. It means that the reasons for leaking the material must be strong enough to overcome the, eth the ethical uh, agreements against it and the publisher of the leaked material must handle it responsibly. Documents that include significant evidence of serious wrongdoing are reasonable candidates for leaks. Here is the most common examples of leaks. The first example is Wikileaks. The second is climate gate for the wikileaks it released the u.s material documents related to the wars in iraq and afghanistan including videos of shooting incidents when the leaks include sensitive information or very critical information then it could be dangerous leaks and also the number of the the amount of documents could be a critical factor on the importance of leaks now think about this question does the value of uh, of informing the public of controversial and sensitive information outweigh the dangers and risks try to think about uh, this question with your classmate. A person or organization establishing a site to publish leaked documents that serve an important public purpose should consider the various points already raised, but also has responsibilities to avoid abuse of the site. The site must have sufficient security to protect whistleblowers. Now let's move to the next topic, anonymity. What does this concept mean? It means that the state of being unknown. For example, common sense is an example of anonymity. These are examples. Common sense is a book that is published without the author's name. The same thing with the Federalist Papers.
Here are some positive uses of anonymity. It could protect particle speech and also it could protect against retaliation and embarrassment. Anonymity has positive side and negative side. For the positive uses, it may protect political speech and also it could protect against embarrassment. Anonymizing services used by individuals, businesses, law enforcement agencies, and government intelligence services. For the negative side, it may protect criminal and antisocial activities. It could aid fraud or theft or copyright infringement. Uh, also, it could mask illegal surveillance by government agencies. The question here is, is anonymity protected? Many legal issues about that are similar to those discussed in Chapter 2. But here, think about the following question. Is the Internet service provider are responsible for determining the user's identity uh, when they asked? Also, do you think that criminals who use anonymity to hide from law enforcement should be dealt with as the same of the honest people who use anonymity uh, to, ex to express their uh, opinions or ideas about critical things? Absolutely, there are differences between these cases. Finally, think about these questions with your classmates. Where, if anywhere, is anonymity appropriate on the Internet? What are some kinds of websites that should prohibit anonymity? Where should laws prohibit anonymity on the Internet? We reach to uh, the end of this lecture and see you next lecture. Goodbye.